know how much you supermodels love cartoonists, but I promise to another. <clears throat> Yahoo! Hello! Time to get up. Very important day. Wakey, wakey. Oh, I hate to do this. No, I don't. <laughs> Why did you do that? You did that because it's trash night. Hardly. Uh, it's some sort of holiday. It's... Oh, no! That's today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll have them in a jiff. All right, Garfield. Your birthday lasagnas are ready. <laughs> oh, this is great, Garfield. I'm going to edit this into my lasagna home video montage. <laughs> I've been shortchanged. There, I've added the new footage. I have over six hours of video of Garfield eating lasagna. Well, it's not like he does anything else. <clears throat> Complaint. Is something wrong, Garfield? Recount demand. <laughs> What is it? I cooked you one lasagna for every year old you are. <gasps> I'm one short? I'm one short? And I don't have the ingredients to make another birthday lasagna. Uh, I'm going to the market. I'll be right back. Well, he's gone, I'm gonna put the time to good use. I'm gonna do something constructive. <sighs> I'm gonna start dreaming about it. Before Zordnix until we reach the invasion planet, Exalted Leader. Good. Did you send for Ricotta? Here he is, Exalted Leader. Ricotta, I have a mission of vital importance for you. I am a to lay the attack on the invasion of planet, Exalted Leader. No. This is more important. Let me show you. Our scanners have taken thousands of images of the invasion planet, and we see nothing that can possibly prevent us from invading and making its people our slaves, except possibly for this. Who are those people? We do not know. Apparently, they are from a planet that is a neighbor to ours. They obviously travel to the planet we intend to invade. What happened to them? The spy images do not show that. We need to know what we are facing. I believe I know that a person. I could be wrong, but I think that is my Uncle Amosi. Go ahead to the invasion planet. Go to where that orange creature is and find out what happened to those people. Take this. It will measure the brain power of those you encounter. Right away, exalted leader. This is Ricotta. I am on my way to scout the invasion of planet. I will report the back. Agent Ricotta reporting. I'm on the invasion planet. As all, I will. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Measuring the brain power of a local creature I encounter. Brain measure is uh, zero. I will seek out the orange creature. Located the orange creature. It appears to be in a state of deep suspended animation. This has the carbuckles back. It's a gun. I must hide. Oh, hope he has my last lasagna ready. Oh, there it is. Did you hear something? <laughs> Whoa. Did you? That is, what was it? Did you see my lasagna run past this way? Uh -uh. What it did? My lasagna had legs, and then it ran, and it talked, and then it asked me if it was, and then it had like a mouth, and it was talking, and it went like, it ran. You believe me, don't you, Odie? Uh -uh. Well, that's okay, I don't believe me either. You are satisfied that the orange creature will be no threat? I am. I do not know what he did to vanquish the people in those images, but I know I was able to handle him. Hmm? Then the invasion shall commence. All these years, and I didn't know lasagna could talk. Why didn't it say something? What if it isn't just lasagna? What if ravioli can talk? What if cannoli tries to beat me up? And the garlic bread? I'll starve. Hold on, boy. I can't understand you. Please note, Odie is less articulate than baked lasagna. What is it? Something out there? They're coming for me. I've got to hide. That creature sees him. If I had an ounce of courage, I'd go out there and save my friend Odie. Good thing for me, I don't have an ounce of courage. Fine work, Ricotta. Now we just need to neutralize that orange creature. You say he will be easy to defeat. Very easy, exalted leader. Just as soon as we find him. He's here somewhere. <coughs> we will find that orange creature and we will destroy him. What did I ever do to lasagna? Besides eating thousands of them. There is no sign of the orange creature in here. Let's check all the closets. Did you notice something? Ricotta, I heard. Is something wrong? This is silly. I can't just hide in here for the rest of my life. Yes, I can. No, I can't. John? Odie? Talking lasagna? Oh, Odie! 
It's me they want. Might as well get it over with. My humanity! Sounds like they're in John's room. I thought you said it would be easy to defeat Ricotta. I thought it would be. Guys? It's time to end this. I don't know what happened, but I'm sure glad they're gone. Yeah, but you never know what happened. They were dangerous and scary and destructive. But boy, they sure look delicious. Garfield, I'm back. I knew you wouldn't want to wait until I cooked it, so I stopped off at Vito's and got you that extra birthday lasagna. No, no, take it away. It might talk to me. It might, it might. Gee. I always thought Vita was a pretty good cook. Rody, and angrier. I'm much more impatient than that. I'd be pacing back and forth impatiently, but it's easier to have Odie do it for me. John ordered that pizza almost 12 minutes ago. It's too late for me. I'm famished. Even if it came this minute, I'd be too weak to answer the door. I'll get it. I'll bring in the pizza. I'll bring in the pizza. You bring out the money. Attention, hungry cat. <laughs> you ever feed that cat? No more than 10 times a day. Ah, Vito's Pizza. The best pizza in the world. Mm -hmm. You sure? Something is very wrong here. That was the worst pizza I ever had. It was dry. It was tasteless. Vito, what have you done to me? <gasps> Mama Meanie's Pizza Palace? Yeah, I know it wasn't a Vito's pizza I ordered, but I had a coupon for this place. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> okay, I guess you mind a little. Ah, Mr. Arbuckle, it is so good to see you. It is so good to see any customer. Well, business isn't good, Vito? Business is terrible since this new pizza shop opened next door. Look at this monstrosity. Mamma mia, this pizza palace pui. Mamma Mini's Pizza Palace, Tui? She's the one who made that awful pizza? They have a coupons, and deals, and a contest, and they've stolen all of my customers away. So, why not sell this dump of yours to me so I can expand my business? Never! Are you? Right, I'm Mamma Mini. Here, have a coupon. Twelve pizzas for the price of one. <gasps> Twelve pizzas? Oh, that's quite a deal. <laughs> not if they're not edible. His pizzas are horrible the way he makes them. Let Vito show you how pizza should be made. The dough is a hand mixed. I tasted myself to make sure it is right. 
Oh, he's perfect. And then I toss it in my hand. I put on the sauce, lots of it. And then the cheese, even more of it. And now I add on the sausage, <gasps> and the pepperoni, and the onions, and the mushrooms, and the anchovies. <laughs> All right, no anchovies. <sighs> <laughs> That's quaint. But would you follow me, please? Well, let me show you how we do it now, the modern, cost-effective way. It's so much better to do it by machine. The Pizza Grand 7000, capable of outputting 10 pizzas a minute. That thing makes pizzas? Pizza by machine? That is it human. It is vulgar. It is ridiculous. Pizza completed. There you are, piping out pizza. That is the way to make pizza. I'll try a slice. Uh, Garfield, you want one? <gasps> no way. I've tried Mama Mini's alleged pizza. Oh! <laughs> mm. I'd like a pizza with everything, please. Allow me to show you how it worked. Yes, sir, Mama Mini. One pizza with everything. Hey, what? Do I look like a ball of dough? No, don't answer that. Help! Ouch! Hey, what you pulling it? This pizza tastes a lot like cardboard. Uh, no, it doesn't. My all-meat special tastes like cardboard. This one tastes like styrofoam. Toppings, pepperoni, onions, peppers, anchovies. Hey, no anchovies. Pineapple. Uh, yeah, fine. And five, four, three, two. Pizza completed. Here you go, pal. When I said I wanted everything on my pizza, I didn't mean a pussycat! Hey, you're better off with me than one of those guys rotting pizzas. I'm sorry, Mama Mini. I will never order from you again. But what if I offer you discounts? Discounts? And contests with big cash prizes. Big cash prizes? Yes, yes! You see, <laughs> my promotions will trump your pizza every time, which is why you'll sell your business to me so I can tear it down and expand. Vito's Pizza, I'm sorry, we are closing down and... Yes, this is Eddie Gorman, the world-famous TV food critic. I'm sure you've heard of me or seen me. <laughs> I've decided to try your pizza, and if I like it, well, I will recommend it to the millions of people who watch my reviews on television. Recommend my pizzas to millions? That's right, millions! So have a large pepperoni to my home, 747 Waffle Street, in 30 minutes or else, bye bye This is my chance! Eddie Gourmand is going to review my pizza! Eddie Gourmand? But he has a huge following, and what's worse, he has good taste! Out of my way, Mama! After Eddie Gourmand tells the world about my pizza, crowds will flock to my store! Well, we'll just have to make sure that doesn't happen. But Vito, I don't know anything about delivering pizzas. My truck is in the working, and the pizzas have to be at this address in 12 minutes. Hurry! Hey, wait for the star of the show. Forget them. We have to stop that pizza from being delivered. Mamma mia! Mamma mia is trying to stop the delivery. I cannot let that happen. If I don't get to 747 Waffle Street, there will be no more Vito's Pizza! Papa! <laughs> I've never heard of Waffle Street. You'll have to find it on the map. Which will be kind of hard to do since this is a map of Portugal. He's trying to run us off the road! Mama Mini! He's trying to stop us from delivering Vito's pizza! Sure looks that way. Okay, pal. Let me have that pizza. Uh, what pizza? Do I have a pizza? You've got just three seconds to hand over that pizza, fella. Well, this guy plays rough. I better do something. I may need ammunition. 
<laughs> Listen, maybe we could forget all this pizza stuff and send out for Chinese food. <laughs> oh, Mama, looks like you have a pizza delivery truck to go. Onward! We have pizza to deliver! No! Don't let him get away! Uh, they're right behind us! These are Mama Meanie's pizzas. Here's the only thing they're good for. They make great frisbees. There's rancid pepperoni all over the windshield. You did it, Garfield! Nothing can stop us now! We have one minute to get the pizza to 747 Waffle Street. Not so. Oh. This is 747 Waffle Street. <gasps> We're here. Quick, give me the pizza. Wait, that's not... Oh. Just in time. Well, it's about time. Ten more seconds and I'd give you a bad review. <laughs> here, taste. You will love. <laughs> Why, this is the worst pizza I've ever eaten. My pizza. The worst. Here, have a real Vito's pizza. Mama Meanie's Pizza Palace. This isn't Vito pizza. Mmm, yes, this is Vito's pizza. Mmm. Oh, this is the best pizza I've ever eaten. <laughs> Thank you, cat. I think you deserve some, too. I thought you'd never offer. So, for the best pizza on this entire Plano Mundo Mundo, go to Vito's. And if you want the worst pizza on this planet, well, try Mama Meanie's. It stinks. <laughs> I love the Eddie Goodman. Every time they rerun that review, I get another hundred orders. So I see. <sighs> Maybe I can retool the pizza making machine to make steel belted radial tires. They taste about the same. I am so grateful for all your help, all of you. From now on, as much pizza as you want. You are Vito's guests. All the free pizza we want? Ow. Will he ever stop? Oh, sure. He's bound to hit anchovies eventually. I thought it might be somebody. Just thought you'd like to know, I'm being entered in the big pet show contest. Not particularly. 
Well, don't be jealous, Garfield. It's not your fault that I'm adorable and you're not. You don't even know any tricks. Sure I know a trick. Want to see a trick? It's called the hurl the obnoxious kitten out of the yard and have him land in the trash dumpster trick. Don't I do it well? All right, Garfield. Just for that, I'm not sharing the lasagna with you. Lasagna? What lasagna? Where's lasagna? First prize in the pet show is 100 pounds of Vito's lasagna. A whole three-day supply of Vito's lasagna? Where do I sign up? <laughs> no chance, Garfield. You're not cute enough to even be entered into the pet show. All the judges will just laugh at you. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> Boy, do I hate it when Nermal's right. <sighs> Didn't make it, Garfield? I'm sorry. I guess the judges and I are even. I don't think they're so cute either. It's okay, Odie. Mr. Arbuckle, I'm sorry we had to reject your cat, but he's just so uncute. Well, you're no Miss Supermodel yourself, fella. <gasps> is that your dog? Sure, his name is Odie. This is the cutest dog I've seen in 20 years of judging pet shows. You must enter him in the contest. Do it, Oatster. I'll be your manager, and if you win, we'll split the prize. <gasps> really? Really. <laughs> Note, I did not say equally. My dog seems to want to be in the contest. Excellent. I'll go fill out the paperwork. That means we have 83 contestants. 83 contestants? Whew. How's Odie going to win all that lasagna for me against 82 other contestants? I'd have to do something to kind of narrow the odds a bit. Hey, Garfield. Soon as I heard first prize was lasagna, I knew you'd be in this contest. Not me. Not for that lasagna. I thought you loved Vito's lasagna. Not anymore. Not since Vito started making it healthy. Healthy lasagna? Ain't that a contradiction? Yeah, makes it out of soy and tofu, and then he throws in some tofu and soy. Ugh, sounds awful. It's lasagna I won't eat. That ought to tell you plenty. I'm gonna go to the other pet show on the east side of town. They have real delicious lasagna is the price. Hey, if that's where the great prize is, that's where I'm going. <sighs> One down, 81 to go. Really? On the east side of town? Would I mislead you? <laughs> oh, well, you always know where the good lasagna is, Garfield. Always. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We seem to have lost most of our contestants. Gee, I wonder where they all went. We only have two. Odie the dog. <laughs> and Normal the cat. Normal. That's the one I missed. <laughs> Our two contestants will compete in several events to determine the winner, starting with the cuteness competition. I know you're rooting for Odie Garfield, but there's no way anyone's going to beat Normal in the cuteness competition. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. First, the judges will score Odie with regard to cuteness. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 I love a good intellectual competition. Well, let's see how the judges have scored Odie. Huh. Odie gets an 8, a 9, and a 10 for a total of 27 points. And now we'll test the cuteness of Nermal. And now we'll put cotton into Odie's ears. <laughs> he 
years where I take an early lead. Huh? I do cute better than anybody. Observe what happens when you rub claws on the average blackboard. <laughs> And in the cuteness competition, the judges give Normal a one, a zero, and a minus three. I can't believe it. You're almost as uncute as that fat orange cat that applied earlier. <laughs> in any case, Odie has won the first event. The lasagna prize will be mine. Well, mine and Odie's, but mostly mine. We can't possibly lose. The next event will be based on intelligence. Boy, can we lose. The object of this competition is to find two matching items in the pile. Oh, my. Normal will go first. On your mark, get set, go! Ah. Yay! And Normal finds one slipper, and then it's match in seven seconds. Ah. Ha. Let's see you top that. Dog. All right, boy. Go select an item from the pile. Huh? A slipper. Okay. Now go pick another slipper out of the pile. No, that's a baseball mitt. We need a slipper. Uh -uh. No, that's a flashlight. Get a slipper. No, that's an eight by ten glossy of Elvis Presley. We need a slipper. Huh? A slipper. No, that would be the Klopman Diamond. I'm sorry, Odie has brought you every item in the building except the matching slipper. Normal wins this event, tying the score. Odie, why can't you just bring me a slipper? Even you're not that stupid. Why can't you understand me? The contest will be settled by the final event, the obstacle course. Everyone, step outside. The pet who reaches the end of this obstacle course first will win the competition. And there's piping hot lasagna from the master Italian chef, Vito. Yeah! <laughs> Pets ready? On your mark, get set, go! Finish line. Face it, Garfield. Odie's lost. I'm not giving up that lasagna without a fight. <laughs> and Normal's heading for the finish line. Looks like this one is just about over, folks. One more photo, <laughs> Normal. <laughs> My public. What's this? Normal stopped just short of the finish line for a photo op. Just one more. Uh, now smile this way. One more photo, Normal. Uh, now you're good sight. Now you're under good sight. And now what's happening? Odie has come from behind and is heading for the finish line. And Odie's the winner! Hey! What's everybody cheering about? I didn't win yet. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. <gasps> Hey, nice job, Odie. You're a champion. <laughs> Enjoy your lasagna prize, fellas. Oh, and Garfield, Odie won the contest, so divide it up fairly. <gasps> Did you think I wouldn't? Did you think I would cheat someone out of their fair share of lasagna? Odie gets a piece and I get a piece. What could be fairer than that? <laughs> Here's your one piece. And here's my one piece. 
I won't eat it all now. I'll eat some now and some in eight minutes. Nothing will prevent me from enjoying this. <laughs> there was no pet show on the east side of town. What? No pet show on the east side of town? Boy, where did I get my paws on that evil liar who told me that? Yeah, we walked all the way over there and back, and now we're hungry. What do you have to say to that? Care for some lasagna? Thanks. I thought you'd never offer. <laughs> like that, Garfield. The weatherman said clear and sunny with highs in the low 80s. It always rains when they say that. What rotten luck. My luck's been terrible lately. Aww. Good. The rain's stopping. I'm going to get in a little fishing. Great rainbow. You know what's at the end of a rainbow, Odie? Ah. A pot of gold. <gasps> yeah. At the end of every rainbow, there's a pot of gold, and it's guarded by a leprechaun. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that muttonhead mutt. He actually believed that old fairy tale about the pot of gold. You know, he's going to be finding it a long way to the end of that rainbow. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> me pot of gold! Someone took me pot of gold! It never fails. Every time there's a rainbow, another one of them treasure seekers comes round. <sighs> Odie will be back soon. More bad luck. He'll probably want me to throw the stick or something. <sighs> I gotta get some sleep. <sighs> no, I do not want to throw the pot of gold so you can fetch it. He does that all the time. Throw the pot of gold so I can fetch it. <laughs> It is? It is a pot of gold. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine! Huh? Now then, who took me pot of gold? It's his, it's his, it's his! Oh, 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 please, little kitty. A leprechaun is nothing without his pot of gold. Please, please, please give it back. I could reward you. 
I could give you anything you want. Uh, okay, I want two pots of gold. No, three. And uh, throw in a pizza while you're at it, maybe some lasagna. Hmm, I sense you'll be needing a little good luck. I can fix it, so from now on, that's all you'll be having. Nothing but good luck. Hmm. <laughs> now you're using your head, you are. Here comes the good luck spell. <laughs> Whoa. That didn't feel like good luck. Oh, this is a waste of time. The rain drove the fish too far underwater. Here, Garfield, reel my line in while I go get the car. Why should I reel your line in? Why? I... Oh. Oh, dear. I caught a fish. I caught a fish. No, I think it caught me. <laughs> This still doesn't feel like good luck. What a great catch! Garfield, you are the luckiest cat in the world! If I'm so lucky, how can I have this fish on me? I'll barbecue this up for us right now. No, I'm not lucky. For one thing, I can't eat a big fish like that without tartar sauce. And where are we going to find 100 gallons of tartar sauce? This is Trans Tartar. We're an air freight company that specializes in the transport of tartar sauce. And I'm having engine trouble. I repeat, where am I going to find 100 gallons of tartar sauce? That stuff doesn't just fall from the Double. sky. Read you, Trans Tartar. Advise you lighten your aircraft's weight by 100 gallons of tartar sauce. Roger. <laughs> I still don't feel very lucky. <gasps> I feel like a mackerel. Hey, maybe there is something to this lucky stuff, Ode. Like if I were to decide I wanted ice cream. Bad. We could use chocolate sauce. What I need to do is find a way to turn all this luck into money. In just a few moments, we'll pick the winning lottery number, and some lucky soul will win 30 gazillion dollars. 30 gazillion dollars? This is my chance. Have my ticket, Oster. And the winning number is seven 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 three. What a surprise! I'm coming to you from outside the new mansion that was just purchased by Garfield, the gazillionaire cat. The palatial home has 84 rooms, more than half of which contain nothing but lasagna. What a terrific light snack! Now, where's my butler? Will there be anything else, sir? Excuse me, sir. Someone is at the door. Oh, I'll get it. I haven't walked for a few days. This being rich is great. I'm so lucky to have all this luck. Howdy, Cousin Garfield. Oh, I'm not your cousin, whoever you are. We were so happy to hear we had ourselves a rich relative. We couldn't wait to all come here and move in with you. Mm -hmm. Oh? That's the back door doorbell. Who could that be? Garfield Cat, I'm here to get you to invest some of your 30 gazillion dollars in my great new business venture, the Electric Yo-Yo. Just a few billion and you could own a piece of this. And then invest everything else you own in my friend's business ventures. Invest in my business. I have a plan. Invest in my business. Invest in my business. 
Finally, I'm alone and no one's after my money. Mr. Garfield, I'm from the government and you owe taxes on your 30 gazillion dollars. Ah! There's a state tax, the sales tax, ah! a screaming tax. Ah! <laughs> oh! Here, I'll collect the sewer tax. We need to get rid of all this good luck. There he is. Right there. <laughs> I need to find ways to have bad luck. Walking under a ladder is bad luck. Breaking a mirror is bad luck. Invest in my business. Garfield? What's the big idea to paint me black? Don't ask questions, just cross my path. Mm. Having a black cat cross your path is bad luck. I must have gotten rid of all that good luck by now. Well, I guess I'll get some lunch. Maybe a sardine sandwich? Oh no, I still have my good luck. Odie, do you remember where you found that pot of gold? Uh, yeah, yeah. Take me there right now. I have to get that leprechaun to take back all this good luck before it destroys me. So. You want I should remove the good luck spell, do you, kitty cat? Oh, please, please, please. You do understand. If I take away the good luck, I also take away the 30 gazillion dollars. Take it, please. Have it your way, pussycat. Oh. Oh, Woody, I think my good luck is gone. Uh -huh. There's one way to check. Boy, I wish a couple of lasagnas would fall from the sky. It's gone. Come on, boy. Let's go get a couple of lasagnas the unlucky way, making John bite them. He sure learned a valuable lesson, that cat did. Look, here's what you make of it. He got that, and me? I got another 30 gazillion dollars! I am so lucky! Mr. O'Rourke, I'm from the government, and you owe taxes on your 30 gazillion dollars. Uh, let's see, state tax, nine gazillion, so sales lucky. tax, four million, so exhaling tax. <laughs> cousin passed away and he left him something in his will. Boy, I hope it's edible. And there's lots of it. Ah, you must be John Arbuckle. We've been waiting for you. Do come in. Thanks. I'm Mr. Connors. I'm the attorney representing the estate of your cousin, Ichabod. I hope we're in time for the reading of the will. We've been waiting for you. Is Doc Boy here yet? Your brother is here and waiting for the will. He does ask that people not address him as Doc Boy. I'll try very hard to respect his wishes. 
Doc boy, doc boy, doc boy. <laughs> Don't call me doc boy. <laughs> okay, doc boy. That's John trying very hard to respect his brother's wishes. Gentlemen, it is sad that your cousin Ichabod has left us. He was the greatest guy in the whole world. He was a prince among men. Did you ever meet him? No. Did you? Your cousin left an estate worth a fortune. He also left his will in the form of this DVD he recorded. Left his will? As a DVD? Couldn't we just watch cartoons instead? Hello to my relatives. If you're watching this DVD, then I'm cool. But I wanted to make this for you, John and Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. As you probably know, my estate is worth a fortune. Since I never got to meet either of you, I couldn't decide which one of you should inherit it. How about leaving it to a cat? So I decided to come up with a test. A test to see which of you was the bravest and therefore the most deserving. Some people say my house is haunted. <laughs> well, maybe it is. I want you two to stay here. Whichever of you lasts the longest gets my fortune. The first one to leave is out of the will and he gets nothing. <gasps> Have a nice night. And watch out for ghosts. <laughs> Those are the terms of the will. Please come with me. <gasps> You can stay in this room. John will be down the hall. He was kidding about the ghost stuff, right? Yeah. We always heard Cousin Ichabod like playing tricks on people. I'm just the lawyer. I enforce the rules, but, um, and just between us, even for a million dollars, I wouldn't spend one night in this house. Ah! I'm starting to feel that way myself. Well, John, looks like we're really, um, spending the night in a haunted house. Yeah. Well, at least it isn't dark and all stormy with lightning and thunder. Wow, you have a great future as a weatherman on television. Well, maybe we should go to our room. Yeah. Uh, hey, is it okay if uh, Odie keeps me company, John? <laughs> if he wants. Good night. <laughs> this is a nice room. We have a nice bed, a private bathroom, a TV set. What more could anyone want? <laughs> oh, right. Food. There's scarier things than ghosts. Like lack of dinner? If you want food, Garfield, you're going to have to go find it. You mean, alone? <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's you. Hey, don't worry. I'll find some food to put in you. <laughs> Did you hear something, Odie? <laughs> there are moments in this world that call for bravery. <sighs> that was tough. But no one will be able to get in here. <sighs> yes, but now no one can get out. <laughs> there must be a kitchen in this place somewhere. Don't feel me now. <laughs> Have a nice ride. <sighs> oh my. Where's the room with John in it? <gasps> hey, mice. Mice like me because I don't eat them. Hi, guys. 
I'm lost. Uh, could you tell me where the master bedroom is? Or better still, the kitchen. Those are mice. Those are bats. I was wrong. You can get out. You are looking for that handsome pussycat. He went that way. I won't hurt you, little dog. What are you running from? You know, Odie. That's a very good thing to run from. Watch how I do it. Odie? Garfield? Doc Boy? For now. It'll catch us if we, that is, if I don't come up with a brilliant plan. <laughs> I think I lost them. I bet that's the guy behind all this. I recognize those sounds of pain. Doc Boy! Are you okay? Doc Boy, speak to me! Oh, poor Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy! <laughs> okay, keep it steady, Odie. This is gonna be great. I'm an yeah. evil ghost here to scare you. Boo! Boo! Come on, be scared. Why aren't you scared? Uh, oops, <laughs> looks like I'm a naked ghost. You can't get out! You're trapped! <laughs> there must be something we can do. This suit of armor thing, it does everything I do. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere to run! No way out! <sighs> I figured it out, Odie. These are robot ghosts like in an amusement park. All except for this guy, who must be the guy behind it all. He set it all up to scare John and his brother out of the house so he could keep Cousin Ichabod's fortune. Really? Yeah, I learned this kind of thing watching cartoons on television. And now, for the unmasking. It has to be that lawyer guy. Huh? huh? It can't be. But it is. Cousin, Cousin Ichabod. Ichabod! The reading of the will. We thought you were gone. Fooled you, didn't I? 
I couldn't figure out which one of you would get my estate. So I set this up as a little test. Well, don't keep us in suspense. Yeah, who won? Neither of you. Did you were both too cowardly. I told you, leave everything to a cat. See you later, cousins. <laughs> Boy, the looks on your cowardly faces. Watch this. Ah! No, it has not been a waste of time, because I'm going to get something useful out of it. Huh? Oh. Ooh. Oh. Hello, Lord. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. Ooh. This is better than a mansion and a fortune any day. Ha! Ooh. Ooh, right there, right there. Ooh. I found an old empty TV set in a vacant lot down the street. It's heavy, but this'll be worth it. Oh, there you are. I'm about to leave for my trip, Garfield. Bring me something. Now I'm counting on you to be nice to Odie while I'm gone. You can take care of yourself, but if anything happens to Odie... I know, I know. No lasagna until century after next. Well, you know. See you in a couple of days. It's okay, I won't annoy Odie. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Walter Turkey Baster with the news for Puppy Dog. And here are the headlines. Major scientific breakthrough in flea baths. City to repaint all fire hydrants. And new low prices on cute little rubber squeaky toys. <gasps> you dropped your bone. Wait, we have breaking news. The city has just passed a law banning all puppy dogs. No, no. The mayor has ordered that all puppies be arrested and locked up in a small cage where they will be fed only raisins. <laughs> Quick, Cody, you have to hide. They're coming for you. <laughs> no, 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 that won't work. They'll find you. <laughs> all right, puppy dog. We know you're in there. This is the police. Come out with your paws up. <laughs> this is too good. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Puppy dog. What's wrong, little puppy? I won't hurt you. I didn't know puppy dogs could climb trees. Oh, poor little puppy dog. I hope you didn't hurt yourself. My mommy will see if you're all right. She used to be a nurse. <laughs> I, I, oh, ouch. Garfield, ouch. that was a mean and crummy thing to do. You're right, Squeak. <laughs> but it was so funny. <laughs> oh, come on, Squeak. 
Oh, he'll be fine. He'll be wandering back in a little while. And then I'll do it to him again. <laughs> I'm so bad. There's nothing wrong with this little puppy, Nathan, dear. He's fine. Can we feed him, Mommy? Well, I suppose. <laughs> that is, if he's hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Get those Peruvian sardines out of the refrigerator, dear. <laughs> What's wrong, little puppy? Puppy, you act like you expect someone to swoop in and just take them away from you. They're all yours. You can eat them all by yourself. <gasps> When is Zodi coming back? I have more tricks planned. He only went across the street and... Hey, that kid's part of the new family that moved in here last week. Go, boy! Fetch the stick! He's throwing the stick so Odie can fetch it for him. What's the point of that? When I throw the stick, I make sure it and Odie don't come back for a long time. Okay, he'll be back. He'll be back. Mom, the puppy and I get along great. Can I keep him? Huh? Can I? I don't know. He may belong to someone. Puppy, do you belong to someone? <laughs> well, Nathan, you did do very well on your latest science project. I guess you deserve a reward. Yay! <laughs> We need to give you a name, puppy. <gasps> this is a book of doggy names. How about Rover? <laughs> Bi Bido? <laughs> Lassie? <laughs> oh, that's right. You're a boy dog. How about Fluffy? <laughs> boy, here's a real dumb name. Can you believe that someone would actually name a dog Odie? <laughs> <sighs> All John left me to eat while he's gone is this stuff. Look at these ingredients. No pasta, no ricotta cheese, no marinara sauce, and they call this cat food? I'm gonna go use John's computer while he's gone. Any sign of the pup? But he will be back. He'll be back. <laughs> Why isn't Odie back? <laughs> I'll have to bring him back. You like this, don't you? And we're gonna get you some new doggy toys. And for dinner, lasagna. Lasagna? I'm eating canned nothing and he's getting lasagna? Nathan! That's Mom. I'll be right back. Odie, quick. Here's our chance. Sneak out the window with me and I'll get you home. You don't want to come home? <laughs> this is your home now? <laughs> See ya, Pop. <sighs> While you're busy, Mom, may I work on my new science project? That's a good idea. Stupid dog. Imagine picking luxury and lasagna over being tormented by me. Well, I won't miss him. In fact, it'll be nice having the house as a puppy-free zone. I don't care if he ever comes back. Puppy, you're gonna help me with my new science experiment. <laughs> This is my lab, puppy. Oh. This 
this is where I'm going to transform you into a cockroach. <laughs> Hi, Garfield. I was just placing a bid on a piece of cheddar, and I was looking at some of the videos John's taken of you around the house. So, Odie isn't coming back? No, I can't understand why. Here, I'll show you why. Excuse me? 27 feet, a new record. Don't slurp. Don't slurp. I'm asking you nicely, don't slurp. All right, you're asking for it. Do not open till Christmas. <laughs> now do you see why? I guess. What difference does it make? He's living the good life across the street. It's no use. You can't get away. You'll be a cockroach in no time. <laughs> Whoa, he sounds upset. Maybe they're out of his favorite mustard. <laughs> Sound like he's having a great time. No, he doesn't. Oh. Wait for me! <laughs> In one minute, you'll be a cockroach! <laughs> Everyone will want to turn their dog into a cockroach! Oh. Hurry, here's what I need you to do. Okay, I want some Why does someone always interrupt you just when you're about to turn your dog into a cockroach? Now, where was I? Oh, yes! Turning you into a cockroach! I was about to... Where did he go? Where did my cockroach-to-be disappear to? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> what are you doing? No! Sorry, fella. I need my friend back. I've been kind of rotten to him lately. No! <laughs> What? You heard me say I've been kind of rotten to my friend lately? Uh-huh. Well, I didn't mean that. I just, what I was, well, it's... We have breaking news. Odie the Pup is home, and Garfield won't do anything mean to him for at least two weeks. <sighs> Make it a week and you got a deal, pal. <laughs> 